Hello everyone, it's the Canadian Wi-Fi here, back today bringing you a tier shift battle. Tier shift is a tier that I uh, made a couple teams for right back when it was first implemented, but I don't think I've ever uploaded any. I think I actually even recorded some, I just didn't like how the content turned out. I didn't bother uploading it. Uh, today, there was a uh, tier shift tournament in the NU room, where else would there be one? And I got matched up, I think this was like round 2 or round 3 against Queen of Love Disc. He's that guy who uses nothing but stall on the ladder and you all hate him. But I'm pee good friends with him, so... Regardless, looking at his team, um, I noticed right away that Shedinja walls like half of his team, roughly. Highly doubt Landers is carrying knockoff. Um, I highly doubt, um, 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 what's that thing called? Uh, Gothitelle, the Pokemon I like to use. <laughs> highly doubt that thing's carrying HP Fire, and if it is, good on him. And uh, I know that the the spider, it, Galvantula, is not going to be able to touch Shedinja at all. And uh, the thing about Shedinja and Tear Shift is uh, it gets plus 15 in its HP stats, so it can use Substitute. It doesn't just add a Stealth Rock. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, I guess I should probably go over a quick explanation of what the hell Tear Shift is, because uh, I highly doubt most of you know. Uh, tier Shift is a made-up tier where Pokemon get boosted stats depending on how far down the tier list they are. So OU Pokemon remain the same, uh, UU Pokemon or Pokemon in BL get plus 5 to all their stats, Pokemon in RU or BL2 get plus 10 to all their stats, and Pokemon in NU or BL3 get plus 15 to all their stats. So it allows you to um, try out uh, some pokes from the lower tiers in standard play and uh, have them brought up to about the same power level. But it also breaks a lot of things, such as Olomomola, <laughs> and uh, Shedinja is really fun to use. Uh, it also breaks the hell out of rain because Politoed, who already has really good stats and good stat distribution, gets 15 more stats in every single thing. So it's like retardedly bulky, really fast, hits like a truck. Yeah, rain is OP, put it that way. But here's a team that isn't the rain team. And uh, we're just gonna get into this battle right now. Um, potential leads didn't really care. Swell is faster than most of his team. Uh, I did a quick calc and I saw that Boom Burst does 76 to like 80 against this Victini, so it can't quite kill it yet. Means uh, I'm gonna have to go out into a Loma Mola, eat up the uh, V Create, and uh, predicting the Galvantula to come right in. This is a very risky double switch on the very second turn of the battle in case he wanted to uh, go for another fire move, but chances are he wasn't going for a fire move against an Alomomola. So I'm able to go out to Shedinja. He volt switches as I go for sub. I really don't know why. Um, but I'm going to SD on his sticky web. Then I SD again. And uh, I just have a threat sitting here. Fat threat, Shedinja at plus four. Uh, I'm gonna Oko the Garchomp. Look at the rough skin damage I take. I actually take damage as opposed to uh, just dying, which is fun. Lucario comes in. I know that if he brings in Lucario, it's because he has Crunch and he's gonna go for it. Um, I actually had a chance to Oko him with Shadow Sneak, but I didn't want to go for it. I'm gonna bring in Lando. Uh, unfortunately, I get the defense drop, but that means Zatu is an easy switch in. Also, look at Zatu just eating up hits like it. Oh. Zatu is amazing, and you're going to see that in this battle. Um, plus 15 to its HP stat, and uh, plus 15 to both of its defenses really, really do it well. Um, I'm going to roost up after T-waving the Lucario, not making it a threat anymore, and he doubles out of his Galvantula. Again, not quite sure of the play. I get to paralyze the uh, Gothitelle for free as uh, he tries to predict Shedinja. He doubles out of Gal uh, Galvantula again. I, like, I understand that he's trying to trap, uh, I suppose, my Shedinja with HP fire, but uh, there are two problems with that. One is you can't trap a ghost type this gen, and Shedinja is a ghost type, and two is um, he's probably not going to go for HP fire, so, or uh, two, well that was not my thought at all. Two was, um, I'm just foddering Zatu because I don't need it for the rest of his team, so the fact that he keeps double switching out is definitely hurting him. Um, he ends up tricking me a specs on my Shedinja as I just switch back out into Zatu. Um, I happen to just straight live that volt switch, which is like, hey Zatu. You're amazing. <laughs> like, this Pokemon is so good. At this point, looking at his team, I get to kill his Boom Burst, so I'm gonna bring it in. Uh, Victini is still here. Victini is still gonna be able to live a Boom Burst because it's still not below 75%. Which means, uh, back to Alomomola I go. 
Now Loma Mole is gonna basically chill here. Gonna go for a quick waterfall. Don't really care if I get trapped by Goth because plus 10 in this attack basically makes a Loma Mola and waterfall a god. I have a chance to para flinch here and he just breaks right through it. Goes for energy ball, but um, I am assuming that's a modest Goth Attel because he tricked me specs and specs modest seems like the thing you would do with that. And a modest energy ball just straight does 45% to me, which is nothing. Well, spadesh, spadesh. Special defense of a Loma Mola is a god. Um, especially in tier shift. It, it basically defines tier shift. Um, I'm gonna switch out of uh, Victini uh, just because I don't want to take like a Bolt Strike or a Thunder or something. He ends up tricking me then outspeeding me but uh, what it allows me to do is go out into um, Swallow because he has the lower defenses from V Create. It would have died. Uh, he brings Victini back in um, 76% which means I technically have a chance to kill but I still don't want to. Um, I'm gonna sneak him which gets off all the damage I need as uh, he ends up tricking me again. I don't know. He played he played Galvantula and Victini both a little bit weird. I feel like he could have predicted a little bit better in this game but he's a stall player. I can't uh, I can't hurt him for trying to play balance. Um, I wanted to go into Glaceon there and see if I could live a hit because Glaceon has 145 base defense in tier shift and 104, no, 145 special attack, 125 base defense. Uh, it, it's such a good mon. It's basically, if you look at its stats, which I'll throw up on screen right now, it basically looks like Mega Ampharos, just in a Glaceon's body, just a little bit faster and I think a little bit stronger, but don't quote me on that. It might be the same power. I, I don't even know. Um, at this point, I'm rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tier Shift is definitely a tier I wouldn't mind uploading a little bit more, playing a little bit more, because it's pretty fun. You get to use Shedinja and actually not have to build an entire team around it. Uh, my voice just cracked there, because it's 9am, I've been up all night. But um, yeah, it's really fun, because um, unlike general Shedinja teams, where you have to have like a Magic Bouncer, and a Rapid Spinner, and a Defogger, and maybe even throw Throwing another magic bouncer to try to support it. Um, in tier shift, it's basically like, hey, let's throw on a Shedinja because even if I have to switch into rocks, it's just gonna be 75% and I'm gonna be chilling there at 75% with Shedinja. So, like, you can double switch with it, you can SD with it, you can sweep with it. Like, it's actually a really good Pokemon if it had like 4 HP as opposed to 1, but I guess that's why Game Free Case does because, yeah. Hell, even 2 HP would be fun, because then it wouldn't instantly die. Although, I guess it was... No, yeah, 2 HP would be cool. Give it 2 HP. Um, regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, a rating would be much appreciated, and uh, I will see you all next time. Take it easy, have a good day, see you later, peace out, guys.